Hey bosses, uh, today I want to talk to you about something that is really important and that is I want you to think about if you feel like you are in a reactive mode where you're feeling you know, overwhelmed at times because you are thinking that everything is just coming at you and that you're spinning your wheels and you have no time to actually fix things the way that you want them. So in a sense, you're actually on that wheel of being in that reactive mode as a manager. And today I want to talk to you about how you can get off of that. But first I want you to ask yourself, do you feel like you are always in a reactionary mode where things are getting thrown at you? Or do you feel like you are in a mode where you're more proactive, you have the time and take the time to be able to plan things out? So those are the, some things that I want you to think about. And one way you can kind of understand if you are reactive or proactive when it comes to how you handle things is do you feel like you are constantly putting out fires? Also, do you feel like you are working in your business rather than on your business? Uh, basically, are you working, putting, doing tasks that you really shouldn't, but rather than taking the time to be able to spend time on those strategic things that are really important to business success? Also, maybe you are just feeling like you're just totally out of control. You know, you're on this hamster wheel and cannot get off. Or maybe you are feeling that you are just the go-to person for every question that has to be answered in your company. That could be a problem as well. And maybe this is all causing you to feel, you know, fear and frustration and just like, I am just never going to get my head above the water. All these things have a huge impact on business success. And so I wanted to talk to about that today. Hey, I'm Dr. Heather Williamson with the Transformation Group and welcome back to the channel. All right, so if you want to get more videos like this, watch more of them, they're going to really help you maybe overcome some of those challenges, then you need to subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, now I want to talk to you about what you're here today, and that is how to get off that wheel of being in reactive mode as a manager. All right, so the first thing that I want you to think about in being on that reactive wheel is that you're not getting things done the what you really want done. And in order to get off that reactionary wheel, you have to acknowledge that you're actually on one. And so if you want to get off of, off of it, then this is four things that you can do. And the first is to actually schedule proactive time. And this is what you need to do probably every Monday morning or Friday afternoon, whichever kind of works best in your schedule. But schedule 60 minutes, all right? 60 whole minutes, one hour, to schedule some time where you can actually sit and focus on tasks that are gonna help you uh, get ahead of the curve, uh, become less reactionary. So where is the attention? Where should it be? And once you take the time to do this, then this will totally, this is the first step. And this will help you overcome that feeling of being, treading actually, you know, treading water at times. All right, so schedule time to be proactive. And if you think that one thing, if you could think that it's gonna happen just once a month or once a quarter, then you're gonna stay in reactionary mode. It's a given. So you need to commit to doing this once a week, all right? Some of you may need to do it maybe twice a week or you know, once every three days. Whatever you feel is necessary, then that's what you need to commit to. And then the second thing that you need to do is to clear your mind. So this is where you go to a space where it is quiet. Um, it can be in your office if you're working from home or if you're working at an office then go to a conference room where you can actually shut the door and you know block everybody out 
Also schedule this on your calendar so no one interrupts you during that planning time. And you can call it, you know, proactive planning time or just planning time. I don't care, whatever you do, just schedule it. And then I want you to come with a pad of paper and a pen and that's it. Because I don't want you to bring your laptop, I really don't want you to have your phone because you're gonna have a tendency to look at it when it dings and this is what I don't want you to do. I want you to have just quiet time where you can you know, be creative, um, think about possibility, um, think outside the box. So this is where you can think about all the ideas that are gonna help you be where you want to be in your business and not currently where you are, which is that reacting to putting out fires, all right? Then the third thing that I want you to do is once you've come up with that list, then I want you to share it. I want you to share it with your team. And then once you lay all that out, then you can actually brainstorm, have your team brainstorm on how you're going to implement some of these ideas. But the thing to remember when it comes to, you know, sharing this with your team is that the ideas that they come up with need to support the mission and vision of your company. If they do not support the mission and vision of your company, then scratch them off the list because it's a waste of time and you're gonna go right back to putting out fires, all right, and being reactive. Then the fourth thing, the fourth thing that I want you to do is to implement. So this is the cool thing where you get to put into practice of what you want to do. And to do that, you need to look at that list, have your team look at that list, and then prioritize where your attention should be. And then once you do that, then you need to just figure out, all right, how are we going to do this? Create some action steps and implement. Now, keep in mind that it may, no, might, may not go perfect the first time. So you might need to tweak a few things. That is fine. It's exciting that it's actually being implemented. I mean, really, that is like the first step when it comes to being proactive. You know, think about now we're actually doing something. We're not just talking about it. So implementation is key. Now, when it comes to, you know, the implementation, once you have tweaked it, you might need to tweak it a couple times. Go ahead and tweak. I give you permission. I also give you permission to take the time to be able to do this. If you're not gonna give it to yourself, I'm giving it to you, all right? This is important, really important. All right, so the key here is being proactive is um, important because you're gonna feel safer, you're gonna feel calmer because you're not gonna feel like you're trying to get off that hamster wheel. You're gonna feel so much better and your people are gonna be feel better as well. So it's a conscious, learned um, effort that you have to do. And it needs to be a habit that you just kind of put into your daily routine. So you have to commit to it. So anyway, let's recap, because I think this is hugely important. So when it comes to getting off that wheel of uh, being that re reactive, being in that reactive mode as a manager, the first thing you have to do is to um, schedule proactive time. The second thing is to clear your mind. The third thing is to share everything that you've come up with with your team. And then the fourth thing is to implement, all right? So hopefully you found some value in this. And if you did, please like the button below. Don't forget to subscribe. And last but not least, go out and be that boss that your employees wanna work for. And that is somebody who is proactive and has got their stuff together. All right. So have a great day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.